Hey guys, it's Jenny here and today I am going to be rearranging my bookshelves. Um, I'm kind of at home just waiting to be um, for it to be time to go to babysit. So while I'm waiting for Rachel, I decided, hey, I'm kind of like weary from reading today. So I figured why not rearrange my bookshelves, you know, for a little bit of a change. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the decorations off. And then I'm going to take pictures of how they are right now. And if for some reason I really can't think of a way to make them all fit. Um, or if I just don't like the way that I end up with. Then I will just put them back the way they were. Um, so yeah. Without further ado. Let's just get into this. Okay, so the way I'm going to be separating these books as I take them off my shelves. Are books that I have read hardcover. Books that I have read paperback. Books I haven't read hardcover. And books I have not read paperback. I don't know if I said that right, but I think you get the gist. Um, I do have two stacks of books. Two of the stacks are books that I've read for February that I don't want to put on my shelf and like mix up. So I'm going to be putting the books that I've read for February on my bed and then I have my March TBR already, you know, roughly outlined that I'm not going to be mixing in with those books either. So Yes, if you see me sorting, that's how I'm going to be sorting them, is by f by format, hardcover and paperback, and then again by have and have not read. So there's going to be kind of two main categories and then two subcategories, so there's going to be four piles in all. So yeah, that's how I'm going to be grouping them. I got a nice big floor plan for this, so here we go. <laughs> Here is hardcovers that I have read, hardcovers that I have not read, paperbacks that I have not read, more hardcovers that I have read, that's one that I have not read. Um, and these are all pa paperbacks, well, these ones over here in this column are hardcovers that I have read, and the rest 
are all paperbacks that I have read. So, I don't know. Um, I think what I want to do for this, like how I want to sort my books, is like one shelf for the ones that I have read, one for the ones I have not read, and then for the shelf that I have not read, I'm going to sort them by most anticipated to least anticipated, and then for the shelves of the books that I have read, sort those by like star ratings that I gave them, so those are all books that I have not read. And then most of the shelf is books that I have read, but you know, we shall continue. <laughs> shelf that was my TBR shelf is now emptied so as it stands those are all the paperback books that I have that I have read these are hardcovers that I have read as well as those um, this section right here are hardcovers that I have not read and then these <laughs> are the paperbacks that I have not read and as you can see it's freaking ridiculous and I probably have no business buying any more books right now that is a hardcover that I have not read, but I'm probably going to put it with the paperbacks because I hate separating series. So, um, we still have the shelf. So, yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
you have until they're all out books are literally everywhere this is kind of funny but um okay let's see if I can remember which ones are which all right these ones are paperbacks that I have read including mosquito land um these ones are hardcovers I have read um over here those small ones in that corner are like pocket books that I have read, like tiny books that I have read. These ones are paperback tiny books that I have not read. Those two are tiny books that I have not read in hardcover. All of those are hardcovers that I have read. That's my Harry Potter stuff. All of these right here in this shot are hardcovers that I have not read. And... All of these are paperbacks that I have not read. I know you don't have to tell me my shame is haunting me. Um, and, you know, that's my February wrap up. But um, okay, so I need to take some steps back for a second. Um, okay, so what I think I wanna do, you can literally hear my room echoing. Okay, but what I think I wanna do is I think that I want to put my red books in that shelf, the little shelf. And then I think I wanna put my to be read books in this shelf. And then any books like, well, it's obvious that my to be read books are gonna take up that shelf. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna put my either hardcovers or my most anticipated ones on that shelf. But yeah, all of my, um, all of my already read books should fit on that shelf. But if not, um, I can put some of them on the bottom shelf and then reserve the top shelf for TBR or the other way around. I don't know, but we're gonna do something. <sighs> I don't even know where to start. <laughs> hardcover books fit onto two shelves but it might take up like two and a half once I rearrange them the way that I want to 
So, as it's looking right now, um, I'm probably going to have to use that top shelf. So, I don't know if I want to use that for hardcovers or paperbacks. I really am having trouble deciding. But all of my red books should fit onto that shelf. Like, I'm really hoping that they will. Because, you know, there's only those ones, those ones, and those ones. <laughs> but my paperback to be reds are going to be the hardest thing to conquer. But um, I'll tell you guys how I sh set this up. Um, really, this was kind of just sorting them because I'm kind of picky about size. So all of these books are the same size. All of these books are the same size. These two are the same size. And all of these ones are almost the same size except for those two. And then these three fit the size of these two. These three fit the size of all of these ones. And then these ones fit the size of these ones, I think. But, um, so yeah, I'm going to be organizing them by format and then by size in the order that I want to read them most. So, yeah, I don't really know how this is going to go, but I'm going to sort them a little bit. I'm probably not going to record it when I'm, like, organizing them. But I will start recording again when I start working on my paper. So I have officially sorted my hardcovers into three different sections. So the first section is my most anticipated to be read hardcovers. The second is my second most anticipated. And then the third are the books that like, I'm like, yeah, I want to read them. But like, I'm not gonna, I'm not dying to read them this second. So, <laughs> the, um, now comes the part where I decide if I want to start putting them here or if I want to start up there. And I'm really having a hard time deciding. I think I'm going to put them on this brown shelf. And then if I'm over on paperbacks down here, then I'll carry the paperbacks up there. <sighs> but yes, we're going to start organizing this shelf. And then I will record when I'm done. Hey guys, so as you can see, I ended up totally changing how I did my hardcovers. So, I was messing around because... I was trying to put them in, you know, like, order from size. But then it kind of turned into a rainbow portion. So all of my black books in gray are here. And then we go to white, and then the rainbow. Red, orange, kind of yellow, green, blues, purples. Purple grays, gray, pink. So, yeah, now I get to continue the rainbow with my paperbacks. And then the paperbacks will continue up there. Then I will start on that shelf. However, it is getting very late. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this by the time I have to go babysit. So, first glimpse. And I just realized that I forgot to take pictures of this before I did it. So, let's hope I like how this turns out. Hey guys, Jenny here. After a really, really long night babysitting, I just quickly came home and put the books on the shelf but they're still kind of in the way that I wanted them but you know I don't really like my small shelf how it is so I might try to like fiddle with that more tomorrow because I'm not going to school <sighs> um but I will show you what I have so far the top my February wrap up and my my reading trackers my Harry Potter stuff this is going to be my TBR my TBR stack for March um then we have the to be read books which are color coded and these are mostly hard covers, so we started with black, then went to white, then went to the rainbow, to purple, and then it ends at pink down there. And then I started over again with the paperbacks from white to the rainbow, ends up blue there. And then it continues with blue up here to purple, pink, grays, and then these are all the blacks, and then it ended about halfway through the shelf. So then I just started stacking my already red hard covers up here. And I did kind of like some of my favorites. I did like my Rick Riordan books, um, you know, Sarah DeMass, Stephanie Garber, stuff like that. And then, you know, I put my pocketbooks and my little ones up here so they get more, you know, light. And then down here, I really don't like this shelf. I'm probably going to change it around. But I just threw the rest of them up there that, like, didn't have space for. And then, yeah. There's really no rhyme or reason to these ones, so I'm going to have to do something about these. Because I literally just stack them in no way in particular. I'm probably going to keep this bottom row, but I'm going to change the rest of them some way. 
but hey guys it's Jenny here I have been editing this video and I just realized I never filmed an outro so <laughs> here it is if you watch this video thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and comment down below um, and if you enjoy my channel hit that subscribe button and if you'd like to be notified whenever I post new content hit the bell um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you again for watching